Monica, it's so lovely to meet you. How are you feeling? Um, a bit nervous, but really excited. So when did you start singing? I started singing when I was around six. I just love to put a smile on people's faces. I love to sing. It's just really good and gets like all emotions out at once. And where do you do your singing? Um, I do it currently. I'm at Bramble Tie and I'm head chorister. And then I'm at Libra Boys Choir. I've been there for almost six years now. And I understand you started singing because of something that happened when you were born. Yes, I was 13 weeks premature. And it was either swimming or singing that I had to do. And we chose singing. What, to build up your lung strength? Yeah. And what are you going to be singing for us today? So I'll be singing Ave Maria by Lorenc. I've written like a little twiddly high part bit in it too. You've written it? Uh, well, I didn't write it down on the score but it kind of came in my head like to just put a little high part in it. I'm looking forward to hearing it, especially the twiddly bit you've put in yourself. Thank you. Howard, that's one of my favourite settings of the Ave Maria by Laurent. What did you make of it? Well, um, Luca, uh, well done. It's not often that the climax of a piece of music is in the middle, not at the end. And uh, because that little bit that you sang in the middle isn't actually in our score, I wasn't expecting you to fly from a top F to a top C as if it was the easiest thing in the world to do. That, on its own, was magnificent. And also, you gave with your face the expression that you were communicating with us this piece, as well as your voice. So, um, really, very good <laughs> indeed. Well done. I was Thank going to you. say, Catherine, you know, it's a prayer. Did that come across? It really did. Um, you know, I was aware of how technically challenging this was for you to sing in, you know, with the constant octave jumps and having to constantly be on that pitch, which you did so beautifully. You have such a a pure, beautiful tone with such a wonderful resonance. I actually found myself tearing up listening to you. So even though it's technically challenging, you sort of took us away from that and just really made me feel like I was in that moment with you. So thank you. Thank you. David. Luca, Luca, Luca. You sang a song that is very, very difficult. Colossal range and 
you sang it as though it was the most natural thing in the world. Your top notes are translucent. They just ring. It was a fearless performance and it was an excellent rendition. I think if there was one tip, it's that on some of the, 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 the words, the diction could be a little more precise. OK. Yep. Okay. The, the odd end of a word. Mm -hmm. Never forget the end. <laughs> yes. Even if it's Latin. But I tell you what, in this case, you'll never forget the middle. Exactly. <laughs> oh. They loved what you put in the middle. So did I. Thank you to judges and thanks, Luca. High five, mate. <laughs> Good job. Come on! How did it feel? Talk me through it. Um, so, when I was just on that stage, I just lit up and it was just really good experience. What about the judges comments? So I could improve on my diction a bit but they said I was fearless. Well yeah. done my love, you did fantastic. Thank you. Our final singer is another 